Hello, how are you today? Welcome back to my channel. Reported from the WWW Ground News, the 11th of July 2023, explained that recently there has been an outbreak of cat disease which is very deadly in the country of Cyprus. So that hundreds of cats in this country have died. You need to know, Cyprus is a country located in southern Europe, precisely in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea. The capital of Cyprus is Nicosia. The official languages of this country are Greek and Turkish. With an area of only 9,251 square kilometer, the cat population in Cyprus is more than humans. Final data for 2021 revealed that the cat population in Cyprus is 1.5 billion, far greater than the human population of only 1.3 billion. Therefore Cyprus is full of countless street cats. After being examined, the deaths of thousands of cats were due to feline infectious peritonitis FIP, which is caused by the feline coronavirus. Around July 2023, Cyprus is facing an alarming outbreak of disease in its cat population. The disease is known as feline infectious peritonitis FIP. This disease is a serious threat to cats around the world and is often very fatal. FIP is a complex viral disease and difficult to diagnose and treat. This disease occurs when the feline coronavirus mutates and attacks the cat's immune system. This causes serious systemic inflammation and can affect different organs of the body. FIP can occur in a wet or dry form, with symptoms varying depending on the form. Many cat owners are afraid of FIP because there is currently no cure for it. Even the doctor has confirmed this. Once you get FIP, cats cannot recover and are 100% fatal. How can cats be infected with FIP? Let's see the following video. Symptoms cats are infected with FIP. Some of the symptoms will appear as follows. Fever, drastic weight loss, vomiting, diarrhea, loss of appetite, shortness of breath, feeling lethargic, swelling of the abdomen, anemia, growth of nodules, granulomas, on internal organs. Francois Bagani of Vetosite.fr the subject of our animation is how cats become infected with feline coronavirus, the virus which causes feline infectious peritonitis, FIP. 
Let me introduce you to Augustus. Augustus is a healthy cat who happens to be infected with feline coronavirus, the virus which causes FIP in a few infected cats. Whenever Augustus passes faeces, it contains billions of virus particles per gram or ounce of faeces. Here you can see the virus particles in green. I'm too small for the naked eye, obviously. Here's the feline coronavirus. Augustus will excrete virus for a few weeks or months until his immune system finds a way to get rid of the virus and you may well never know that he'd been infected. Let me introduce you to Plato. He is an uninfected cat but unfortunately he shares a litter tray with Augustus. Plato contacts the cat litter contaminated with a highly contagious feline coronavirus. Some of the virus gets onto his paws and here you can see it in the carpet, deep down in the fibre of the carpet. As he grooms himself, he licks the virus off his paws and swallows some feline coronavirus particles. Let's zoom in on Plato's tongue. The cat's tongue is covered in little bristles and as we move in um, to a microscopic level, here we can see some coronavirus trapped in the bristles. The coronavirus goes down his gullet, into his stomach, and then from there into his intestine. The small intestine is covered in lots of little projections we call villi. This is to increase the surface area of the intestine, which allows food and water to be absorbed. Let's have a closer look at one of these villi. The villi is covered in little cells we call epithelial cells and here you see a coronavirus entering one. From now on following video documentation the life of stray cats on Cyprus a short documentary there are around 2 million stray courtesy cats in by Cyprus. Brit Channel. That's double the amount of people living there. So is that a problem? Cats are everywhere in Cyprus. And while they've grown accustomed to living next to the tourists and human inhabitants of the island, life as a stray can be hard. There's no guarantee for food, water, shelter, and mostly care when they need it. A lot of stray cats carry diseases with them because they don't get the medical care they need. So who takes care of all those cats on Cyprus? Multiple animal welfare organizations try their best, and one of those is Animal Rescue Cyprus. I met up with volunteers Dominic and Jay to learn more about the stray cats. It started off with one dog, a woman called Miss Christine and her husband Mr. Chris. They started this place up, started collecting all the donkeys, the horses, the dogs, the cats, because they felt bad seeing them. What happens here is when we get them on rescue, we put them in the cages for two weeks, see the white um, papers on the, on the doors. So they get kept in for two weeks, so the A, they get used to the environment, they get used to being fed every day, and then once we open off, after two weeks, they also see that the other cats get fed, so that they stay, but if not, they, they're free to go. It's not an enclosed environment for them. You know, people bring them, they say found in the street, uh, found in my garden, found in the garbage bin. So they, we don't know if they belong to somebody. Then we get them as a rescue. Um, we've got one, one guy in here, we call him um, Ginger Bob. So he came to us as a, as a rescue. Um, he's had to have his ear removed. So he's only been with us a few weeks, um, a few days actually. He's been at the clinic for a few weeks. Most people think that the domestication of cats stems from Egypt. But 9,500 years ago, a site was dug up on Cyprus, showing a human and a cat together in a grave. This is the oldest known sign of domesticated cats. And since it's an island, 
we know that humans brought them here. Since then though, the cat population must have gotten a bit out of hand. The mentality here is not to, to have your animals spayed. It's again, they say it's against God to spay them because it's stopping something that's natural. But then they left, most of the farmers didn't care because they hunted all the mice and snakes and stopped them from ruining the crops. So they left them. But now the government is not happy about it because we're overpopulated with the animals. At the moment it's kitten season, so thank goodness it's no longer the small kitten <laughs> um, because we, were, we really struggled. We didn't have enough um, mothers to feed because the people bring us just the kitten. Just, they said, oh, we found it in the bin or we found it in the field. <laughs> if it's found in the field, um, the mother's around. They just take it and then they bring it here and then we're having to try and find foster. Yesterday, four of them came in together. Fluff balls. Um, you'll find a lot of them by the restaurants and stuff, so they, they are keeping down the mice po population around the restaurants because obviously the bins and stuff, so they, they, mm. they are being useful, but they just don't care for them. And I mean, they've put down food. You'll see there's feeding stations all over the place. Restaurants feed them. Um, it's not that they're not being fed, but they're just not being looked after. So no. you'll see them in the street, they, um, they're dirty, they... Cats can have four to five nests per year, and those nests consist of loads and loads of kittens. The Cyprus government gives out about 75,000 euros per year to animal welfare organizations to tackle the overpopulation problem. It helps a little bit. What they do is each area, so each community, so each suburb basically um, gets a certain number of free. So the vets in each area will offer so many free. It it's helps a little bit. It helps a little bit. But, you know, they, they can have four, is it four seasons? How many seasons left? Three, two, four. Uh, I mean, they can have up to, you know, up to four. We're the only place in Cyprus that offers free spay program. Um, so it's the trap and, um, trap and release system. Um, and then at the clinic they, they do the free service. The trap and release program is a program run by several of these type of organizations, volunteers and shelters, funded by the government and by donations. They catch the strays, get them spayed by a vet, and then put them back in their habitat. Each cat, each dog, each horse and donkey, each come in with a story. We're trying to make their lives the best we can with what we can get or what people provide us with. Do you really want to mop? Yeah? I can organise, I can teach you how to mop. Yeah? Yeah? You want to take the handle? So according to Dominic, the cat population decreases a little bit. Slowly, but surely. Someone who shares that opinion is Dimitris Dimitriou. He's the general manager of one of the biggest hotels in the city of Paphos. The Alexander the Great Beach Hotel. Cyprus is an island that mostly runs on tourism, and so you'll see a lot of these big hotels. Dimitris told me that where the view of the Cypriots used to be more apprehensive when it came to the strays on the island, most hotels nowadays are working together with the cats more. He says they're a part of Cypriot culture and that the tourists love them. There used to be many more cats, but the programs definitely helped, according to Dimitris. And he also told me that the cats with a little chip out of their ear are already spayed. So while life as a stray cat on Cyprus can be hard, and there are loads of cats that need more care and love, with the help of places like Animal Rescue Cyprus and a little bit of government money which funds a spaying program that decreases the overpopulation, the residents of Cyprus are trying their best to take care of the furry creatures we tend to love so much. <laughs>